Radial styloid fracture. Reduce the fracture and secure it using a .054 inch guide wire at the desired screw placement location at least 4 to 5 millimeters past the fracture site. Confirm wire placement and depth under imaging. A .054 inch parallel wire guide is available and may be used to assist with a second wire placement and help maintain reduction and rotational stability. Measure the wire depth with a side marked Standard and Mini on the percutaneous screw sizer. This measurement will determine the correct length of screw to be used. If the guide wire is within 2 millimeters of the far cortex, select a screw that is 2 millimeters shorter than the guide wire depth. Advance the guide wire through the far cortex. Open the near cortex with a standard profile drill. An optional long 3.2 mm straight drill is available for use in the distal fragment and helps the screw to engage without distracting in dense bone. When using the long drill, advance the guide wire and drill into the far fragment. Insert a screw that is the same size as determined by the percutaneous screw sizer with the 2.5 mm hex driver. If resistance is met upon insertion, or distraction occurs, stop, remove the screw, drill with a long drill, and reinsert the screw. Dense bone may require using the long drill and possibly downsizing screw length. Determine correct screw placement and length under imaging. Remove the guide wires.